Hey, it's Dawn here. In this video, I am going to share with you this very cool app that I've just downloaded to my Mac, which is Crisp, and it's crisp.ai. So what Crisp actually does is it cancels out all of the background noise that's happening. So imagine that you are wanting to attend a conference call and you've got to go to a coffee shop and all of the noise in the background is very distracting, especially for the people on the other end. Uh, so you want to cancel out all that background noise or it could be that uh, somebody, you've got the windows open and there's dogs barking or somebody just started with a lawnmower. Um, so we're always trying to find sometimes that really quiet place. So imagine as well, you're just about to do a training video. Now, today, typically, there's a dog barking outside, and the day that I want the dog to bark, it's not actually barking. Uh, so I could have actually demoed a dog and given you a, a demonstration of that, but I have got something that I want to demonstrate so you can see how this works in action. So think of situations whereby you're always looking for that peaceful, quiet background, and you want to be able to cancel out that noise. Well, you've just found the app that's going to do that for you. So, and it's completely free as well, which makes it even better. Um, it, now, unfortunately, um, it is only for Mac users. So if you are a Windows user right now, you can click on that link and, uh, and get early access. Um, I've not clicked on that, so I don't know where it takes me through to, but um, I'll put the link on to crisp.ai so you can actually go and check that out and see how that works for Windows as well. But this is amazing. So do scroll through the website and I'm just gonna give you a quick demonstration as well whilst we're on here. Um, so you can actually see it in action yourself. So imagine that uh, you're in a coffee shop. Uh, let's turn it off. So this is... It's a combination of hiking, swimming, sliding, climbing, and rappelling down the background noise. So you hike? Yes, but it is more than that. It's and then it's also gone off. Go so let's go to maybe a screaming child. Uh, we've got that off right now. The idea behind neural networks, or neural nets for short, is that we have nodes that have some connections between them. This is similar to the neurons in your we'll brain. Turn that on. And the synapses they got form. Got the screaming child. <laughs> <laughs> so really, life was so simple to stop the children from crying. Uh, again, you've got the scrum meetings, so you've got conference calls. Let's just listen to this one. Every single computer on the planet operates through Android. Somebody's seen an apple in the background, very distracting. So, if you, they've got, so basically what the say, you know, what this app does is if you've got crisp turned on, it means you can cancel all of that background noise that's happening um, on your computer and also believe you can do it for incoming as well. So what I'm going to just demonstrate for you right now is how we can actually do this. Um, now, I'm using Loom right now. I'm not going to click in there because um, I know that it will actually stop the video. So if I just click here, I've just uh, taken a bit of a screenshot. So as you can see, when you're using Loom, for example, all I would do is choose the microphone. And the microphone source is going to be crisp, uh, the crisp microphone. So all you're going to do is make sure that you've downloaded uh, the app. And as you can see, my app's here. So this is where I've got the Crisp app, and it's also up here. Um, I'll just move myself over there slightly because we're going to be using this. So inside, I don't like being at that side, actually. I'm going to move myself over there. <laughs> we all have a side that we like. So inside of here, this is where we're going to control everything. So again, as well, whether you're using Zoom, whether you're using Skype, whether it's Google Hangouts, all you're going to do is choose the microphone, make sure it's crisp. At the moment, it probably seems a little bit tinny as well because I'm using my inbuilt uh, Mac microphone, uh, but you will notice a difference on not only just uh, the background noise, but the voice and, and how it comes across uh, on the video as well. So once you've chosen the microphone on the um, on whatever it is you're using, whether it's Zoom or Loom or whatever, all you would then do is go up here and then we're going to click this button. Now, before I do this, I'm going to just get some background noise. So we've got some scrunched up pieces of paper here. So I'm just going to rustle. I'm definitely rustling these pieces of paper. I'm going to rustle the paper. And you can hear all of this going on in the background. So what I'm going to do now is, now imagine um, I've come into here, I've started my call, whether it's training or whether it's a conference call, and I've turned my microphone to mute the background noise that's happening behind me. So First of all, the thing you will notice is that my voice will be a lot softer. It won't be as tinny. Uh, so the quality of the microphone actually does come across OK. So um, I'd be quite happy to still use this as a microphone uh, built in as well. If I'm in a noisy place and I need to be in a situation where I've got to cancel out the background noise. So let me get the paper again. But as we sort of ruffle these pieces of paper, you shouldn't 
be able to hear this noise sort of rustling away in the background. Um, I've tested it as well, so I know it works. <laughs> uh, so go and check out this app. It's absolutely incredible. I, I love nothing more than finding new hacks, uh, whether it's to do with things like this or productivity or whatever it is. Um, so yeah, go and check this out. A completely free account. I'll put the link of this as well in the video. And uh, yeah, hopefully you can make some videos and not worry about any background noise. So please like this page because also we'll be sharing uh, lots more videos uh, from bots to cool hacks and I just basically anything that I love, I'll just kind of shoot videos and put them on the Facebook page and hopefully it will help uh, you in your business as well.